Today, we're going to talk about capsule wardrobes. We hear about them all over the place, and some of the people have gotten very positional about capsule wardrobes and how many pieces to have, and it just gets overwhelming, frankly. But today, I'm going to simplify it for you, and I'm going to teach you how to create your own version of a capsule wardrobe, something that will work for you so that you have the clothes at your disposal to create outfits that are within your signature style. And also, I, this is very helpful for those of you who are on budgets. Um, this is something that I've done through the years and it's been very, very helpful to keep me from making wardrobe mistakes, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Nina from the blog sharingajourney.com. I'm a lifelong fashionista and today I am sharing with you day five of our style challenge. And today's um, episode is going to be centered on creating a wardrobe, curating a wardrobe that is uniquely you. Now, we're calling it a capsule wardrobe, but we're not going to get super positional about capsule wardrobe. I'm going to share with you how I built a capsule wardrobe, how I saved money on my wardrobe, and how I literally built the wardrobe that I have. And I'm hoping that this will inspire you to create your own capsule wardrobe that suits you, that you're not going to Pinterest and buying or um, downloading a thing that says five pairs of pants and three shirts and you know black and gray and look, looking like everybody else. This will allow you to create your own personal capsule wardrobe that you can build on as the years go by. So let's start by talking about what is a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is a collection of clothing that work together. They are made up of a variety of pieces that are basic, that can be mixed and matched, and can be worn in different ways so that you maximize the wardrobe that, and the clothing pieces that you have. There are a lot of people who will encourage you to build a capsule wardrobe with very specific number of pieces, very specific colors. That's not what we're gonna do today. The first thing what we're gonna do is we are going to look at your existing wardrobe and we're going to pay attention to the things that you wear. And take note, how often do you wear pants? How often do you wear skirts or dresses? How often do you wear sportswear? How often um, do you um, go out to lunch with your friends? How often, and you know, wanna wear something special, how often do you need formal wear? That, that is one of the most pivotal things about building your own unique capsule wardrobe is knowing the pieces that you need day to day so that you have the number of pieces that you need. If you're going to the gym every day, you may want several workout outfits. You may want more workout outfits or more tennis outfits or more golf outfits than I would going once every blue moon. If you go to a lot of informal events, then you're going to want to have more formal pieces in your wardrobe. If you are still working, you may want to have more of a business focus to your wardrobe. If you are retired, you may want a wardrobe that is more leaned toward casual clothing selections. So that is part one of, of the whole thing, is let's figure out what clothing you need and do you have the appropriate number of pieces so that you can make several different outfits and you have ample clothing to make it through a week or a week and a half or two doing what you do living your natural life. Once you have a sense for the lifestyle that you're living and how many pairs of pants and how many skirts you need, how many tops you need, what kind of tops you want, um, if you live in a climate where you wear jackets and sweaters, um, you know, how many of those do you need or want? As you work on that and figure that out, then you can start to consider a color palette um, and start to build around a color palette. Um, 
we have covered color in one of our prior um, episodes and I think that that part is important because if you have a color palette that works well together then you can easily mix and match clothing. Now there are a couple of ways that I use color palette in my wardrobe. I tend to wear solid colored clothing so I usually will choose pieces that I know look good with my skin tone. For example, I will purchase sweaters, jackets, etc. that I know look good with my skin tone. I then build. So for example, let's say that I decide that I want to buy a pair of uh, navy pants and a navy blazer. I know that that blazer will look good with jeans. I know that it will look good with white pants. I know that it will look good with the pants it came with. So now I have three outfits and then I may choose a skirt to wear with it as well. So now I've got several outfits that I can wear with those pieces. So if you take a, like a foundation outfit, like that's what I would start with is like, do I wear a jacket and pants? So we'll start with that. Do I wear a jacket and skirt? Start with that. And then build the pieces that work with that so that each piece has other pieces in your wardrobe that go with it. The second way that you can do this is by choosing a pattern that you like. So let's say that you like a certain pattern. You can use that to choose the pants, the blouses, and all of that that coordinate with that pattern. And now you have built a capsule around that pattern. So those are a couple of ways that you can use color and pattern in order to build a mix and match capsule wardrobe. And so that com that what comes first is knowing your lifestyle what comes second is knowing the colors that look good on you and that work with you. And number three is kind of creating some anchor pieces in your wardrobe, a jacket and pants or a jacket and skirt and build from there. Capsule wardrobes can sometimes become boring. Let's just be real, especially the ones that I see on Pinterest that look so cute and curated, but then when you actually think about wearing a wardrobe that's only black or only gray or only black and gray or whatever, I find that to be rather stifling. So one of the things that you will want to do if that's a concern is consider the accessories and other colors, pops of color that you can bring into your capsule or a trend piece that you can bring into your capsule so that you are adding to the wardrobe and adding things that make it a little bit more fun. I know that for each season, I enjoy buying a few new pieces. I also go through my wardrobe and kind of call out things that aren't really on trend anymore. I make the decision if I'm gonna put it to the back of my closet or if I'm gonna donate it. It sort of depends on the investment and how much I think it's gonna be worn in the future. But I frequently wear vintage pieces and add those back into my wardrobe. So just to summarize this, because I know it's a little bit confusing, we start with the lifestyle, we figure out what we actually need and what we're actually wearing day to day. We build on that by, by creating color schemes. We use color schemes either by choosing solid colors and choosing solid colors that work well together and mix and match, or we can build around a pattern, a floral, a check, a print of some kind that really resonates with you. And then you simply add colors and pieces that go with that. And finally, the last piece of it is choosing a trend piece or a pop of color that can accentuate or give your capsule wardrobe some life. And finally, we call out pieces every so often so that we have a fresh rotation of clothes. So while that was a very quick um, thing, I think it gives you at least a roadmap to start thinking about your wardrobe as a whole. And so this, as I said, is, let me just turn the page back here. This is episode five of seven, 
be sure and follow along. If you missed any, you can watch them in a playlist. I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video.